What's up guys, I device help here and today in this video I want to share with you guys an application that I use for my Mac and is also available for Windows to clean my iOS device to gain more storage back onto the device by downloading apps, uh, taking photos, browsing the web, email, text, all these things pile up data on your device and sometimes when you delete this data other elements of that data stays behind and iOS does not clean that and it takes up space and storage on your device without you even knowing. So I use this application on my Mac. It's called Tanner Share and it's completely free and I do want to mention that it does have a CNET Editor's Choice 5 star rating and also has a 4.5 stars top 10 reviews as well. So it's a very great application. I'll link you guys down below and if you want to get more space back on your device, clean your device of clutter and junk that you have from previous applications, from deleting applications, photos, text messages, emails, all that stuff like I mentioned leaves data behind. The first thing you want to do is launch the application. Go ahead and connect your device by the USB cable to your computer. And it's a very simple user interface. Uh, what you want to do here is go ahead and clean and now. Go ahead and clean your device. So you have two options. A quick clean, which you know goes through some of the logs, cookies, cache, files that are junk and things like that. If you want a deeper clean of your device, this could take more time, but it does also offer you that option if you go with premium. That option is only available if you do get the premium version. But I'm gonna go ahead and use, like I mentioned, the free version, which is also very good. It cleans a lot of the information that's left behind. As you can see here, all the things that it will clean from your device, photo cache, app cookies, you know, things like that. So let's go ahead and give it a quick scan. Now my device at this current point in time it does have available to me 4.3 gigabytes so let's see how much we get back you can see there's going through each individual section and checking to see what type of information can be deleted now the good thing about this is you don't have to be worried about deleting information that's important to you it won't delete pictures it won't delete contacts it will only delete junk files like I mentioned before that you don't even notice that they exist alright so as you can see there is done removing and detected 147 files 25 megabytes back and 20% estimated improvement of the device. So I'll go ahead and hit clean and it'll clean the device just like so. Very fast, very simple. Now there's a few other tips I want to give you guys in order to get more storage back onto your device. Go ahead and unplug your device. You want to go into the photos and if you have anything on your recently deleted, go ahead and remove all of that. Okay. So if you have any recent deleted things in your camera, go ahead and delete that. If you have any messages, go ahead and click edit and remove any message thread that you don't need or that you don't want. You can also go into Safari extension, scroll all the way down, right here where it says history and web data, go ahead and delete that as well. And now you'll have even more space on your device. You can also go to general, storage and iCloud usage and go to manage storage. And right here you'll be able to see any application that's taking up space on your device. Delete any application that might be taking space on your device. Sometimes we have applications installed that we don't really use. So I started with 4.3. Uh, now I have 5.6. That's more than a gig back on my device to use in the future. Now the software will clean the cookies, cache, and everything left behind from photos and messages that you've deleted in the past. And some of these tips that I gave you on the iPhone would help you increase the space additionally by doing these simple steps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, links will be down below. Be sure to like this video and share it if you enjoyed it. Much more videos coming your way. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.